Okay, so now I'm going to show you what to do when you find outliers in your data. Uh, you have two choices. Basically, you can either replace them with the average value or you can remove them. And whether or not you decide to do that depends on how much data you're going to lose if you just get rid of those data points um, and whether it severely affects the other analyses that you want to do. So I'm using the class demographics data that we generated descriptive statistics for earlier. So I've got it minimized, so let's just open it up. OK, so I'm going to look at the height variable. So this was height in centimetres for a previous class of speech therapy students. And if we look, the average is 165 centimetres. We've got a standard deviation of 8.8. .8, so on average, um, everyone in that class is somewhere within plus or minus 8.8 .8 centimetres from 165 centimetres. We've got a minimum of 150 and a maximum of 193. And the range is this with that subtracted. So the range is 43 centimetres. we come down and look at the extreme values which will give us some indication of whether there might be any outliers in the data. The tallest person is 193 centimetres which is quite a way over the next tallest person 178 and then the two shortest people are 150 centimetres but that's not actually that much shorter than the next few people. So the box plot will tell us whether any of those values might actually be outliers or not. So here's the histogram, uh, box plot, sorry. <laughs> here's the box plot. And you can see down the left hand side, we've got the values for the height in centimetres. And then we've got the median value here, which is about 165. And then the interquartile range. And then the whiskers of the box plot, showing us the kind of upper and lower limits for where most of the data should lie. So that sometimes, for example, this is calculated by adding 1.5 interquartile ranges onto the upper quartile and the lower quartile. So we do have one outlier, and here it is. It's case number 30, and it's somebody who is over 190 centimetres tall. So if we go back into our data sheet, and we find case 30 by looking down the left-hand side, just scroll down. And there we are, 193 centimetres, case number 30. So first what I'm going to do is replace this with the mean of the data set. So the mean is 165.09. Because I'm not using any decimal places, I'm just going to replace it with 165. And then just save that quickly. So now to look at the effect of doing that, I'm going to reanalyze the data. So analyze, descriptive statistics, explore. So I've got height in centimeters in the dependent list. For statistics I'm going to make sure I get descriptives and I get outliers. For plots, factor levels together in box plots, which is usually the default, histogram and normality plots with tests. Options we just leave to their default setting. And then we click OK. So, so let's have a look. So I've still got 32 data points because I've just replaced one of the values. My mean has now come down to 164 from 165. The median value hasn't changed, that's still 165. My standard deviation has come down from 8.8 .8 to 7.1 and the maximum value is no longer 193, it's 178. So by replacing that value with the mean, my new mean is slightly lower. My standard deviation is reduced, so um, because I no longer have that extreme value, the standard deviation, the average amount by which each data point is different to the average, has reduced 
and of course I've removed that maximum value so now I have a new maximum value and if we come down to the box plot we can see that there are now no longer any outliers in the data set so let's see what happens if I just delete that data point so if I go back to my spreadsheet back to case number 30 and I'll just delete it Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Explore. I can leave everything as it was. I just hit OK. So let's just name these in the left hand side as well. Is it gone? There we go. So I accidentally minimized it, I think. Wow. Oh well. So SPSS has done something strange. I can't quite figure out what it's done. So I'm just going to regenerate that data. Analyze Descriptive Statistics Explore. There we go. So this is height with outlier removed. Oops. All right. Uh, so let's have a look. So if we look at the mean, again, it's re reduced from 165 to about 164. My standard deviation is reduced from 8.8 .8 to 7.2. My maximum, again, has come from down from 193 to 178. Because I removed a data point, my valid cases has reduced from 32 to 31. And if I scroll down again yep yeah, the top value or the highest value is now 178 and then if I come down to the box plot I can see that there are no longer any outliers so actually the effect of removing or replacing that one data point is broadly similar but you can imagine if you had to uh, remove quite a lot of outliers you would end up with quite a lot of missing data um, and that could significantly affect your other analyses so sometimes um, the better option is to replace your um, outlier data with the average another option of course and the best option is just to collect more data so there we go save those changes and just put that back to where it was for the moment. Okay.